Hi, Dave here with my Fun Finder River Caravan from Cell. I'm going to show you some changes I've made. Firstly, I've made a drawer in the front boot to easily access items. Standard plastic tubs you can get from Kmart snugly fit through the door without wasting room. At the front of the van, a two-directional spirit level has been installed. The gas bottles have been moved backwards into the tray as my ute was pushing the bottles over on sharp turns. The front tap has been moved to the opposite side, so if the car is hooked up you don't have to walk right around. A handbrake was installed to help stop rocking when somebody moves in the van. A hose fitting installed in the fresh water tank inlet so a hose can clip straight on. A fresh water quick drain installed. A grey water hose can plug into this. It's good for flushing the tank. A tap is installed in the end cap as well, so you have water at the waste outlet area. A mains pressure regulator is installed to stop leaks and protect your hot water service equipment. The fresh water tank outlet has been moved to the bottom of the tank to give you access to the last 50 litres. A privacy screen made from shade cloth stays attached to the awning. A side privacy screen with deflapper clips onto this is installed in a couple of minutes, but not shown here. A 220 watt solar panel has been fitted to the roof using existing cabling. This provides enough power for free camping for us. Inside, drawers under the bed have been made keeping a smaller underbed storage. Doors have been replaced with lighter weight ones, whereas the top three have been made as a single gas lift door. Shelves have been installed in this cupboard and also above the wardrobes. The cafe lounge and table have been removed and replaced with opposite facing leather lounges and a trestle table on wheels which stays in position when slide out closes. This table comes out and can be used outdoors. All window pelmets have been removed and the top one flipped so it can be used for storage. A wine rack installed above the fridge which auto locks in bottles for travelling. A bin is velcroed to the floor and to stay put. A water pressure tank is installed under fridge to stop the pump fluttering or stopping and starting constantly. The kitchen has been totally removed and rebuilt. The upper cupboards are set back further and doors lift up on gas struts. Swivel bench tops added above sink to give heaps of bench space. Tap handle directions reversed save space. Drawers installed where possible. Microwave is now installed under the stove. All controls have been moved near the door, including the hot water service, antenna, fuse box, and gas detector. The extinguisher is in set. The radio is now to the right of the kitchen cupboards with an off switch to stop the glow at night. The TV is in the bedroom. Its cabling runs above the door. Audio plays into the auxiliary port of the radio to give you better sound. The bathroom door has a limit stopper installed so the door doesn't hit the fridge and stays open if you're on a slope. A towel rail has been installed. The toilet brush has been attached to the wall. A toilet paper flap installed to stop unrolling during travel. A pull cord is attached to the fan switch so you can turn it on when you're in the shower. The bathroom vanity has been removed and replaced with a full width one. Drawers installed where possible. A hand soap dispenser is also installed. In the shower, a towel rail has been installed along with a soap dispenser and a second skin under the skylight for insulation. Recognise us if you're following. Hope this helps you with some ideas. Enjoy!